apart from the resurrection, Jesus Christ was a very good but very dead man. And you can't talk about resurrection without talking about death. So first we come to Friday, crucifixion. Invented by the Persians, perfected by the Romans. It's where the world sinned its sins into the body of Jesus, and he absorbed it, praying, Father, forgive them. And while he did, friends, here's the scandal, he thought of you. But before resurrection, there's a Saturday. Holy Saturday is a day of dashed hope, of living shattered to pieces. There's no hosannas, there's no hallelujahs, there's no the tomb is empty, he is risen. Holy Saturday is the time between death and resurrection, between fear and hope, between pain and comfort. He's with us in our loss. He's with us in our fear. He's with us in our pain. God is with us in the valley, but we remember that God's silence does not mean his absence. That although he is silent in this moment, he is present and moving. And while it may be Saturday, friends, Sunday's coming. Sunday is coming, and here's what Dr. Luke tells us. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? I think we're all tempted to look for life in dead places. That might be power, that might be wealth, that might be status, and can I be honest, that might also be religion. I heard it once said that religion is one of the safest places to hide from God. Are we going to these places expecting them to give us life? And Jesus is saying to us, why are you looking for life in dead places? He once was dead, but now is alive. That's the good news of Easter. Jesus Christ conquered sin and death. He set us free. He paid our debt. He rose from the dead. You will not find him among the dead because he is alive and he offers new life to us. 